Many of us don't often think about the world of food. We consume it multiple times a day, but it's rarely thought about beyond its taste and texture. However, there are some foods that exist on the other side of the spectrum. They're incredibly expensive, due in large part to their rarity, or because they have high-quality ingredients or preparation methods that make them difficult for chefs at home to replicate. These most expensive food items in the world might surprise you. In today's video, we will be showing you some of the foods only the rich can afford. Without further ado, let's begin. Jamin Iberico de Pelota, Iberian Ham One taste of Jamin Iberico de Pelota, and you'll feel justified spending so much money on ham. This is what the Spanish royals eat. Made from acorn-fed wild pigs from the southwestern Iberian Peninsula, Jamin Iberico de Pelota has sweetness tempered with saltiness and a touch of acidity, similar to parmesan. Additionally, its fat has a melting point so low that it dissolves on the tongue and coats the palate like cream. You don't have to be wealthy to enjoy Jamin Iberico de Pelota because a little goes a long way. Pick up an ounce or two for $15 to $25 and serve it on a special occasion with a full-body red wine, such as Chianti. Labanat Potatoes Starch, fiber, potassium, and vitamin C. The humble potatoes constituents don't exactly jump out at you and scream, eat me, I'm special. Labanat potatoes differ from regular spuds, however, thanks to the microclimate and terroir of Normandier and Lille, the island off the western coast of France where they grow. The skin of Labanat potatoes have a saline quality that comes from seawater that seeps into the soil and an almond-like, nutty flesh that comes from the kelp-enriched, sandy soil. If you can't spend $300 on Lampanat potatoes, you can achieve a similar taste with immature red or purple potatoes by salting and seasoning the cooking water properly. Black Agri Coffee You might have heard of Kopi Luwak, the gourmet coffee beans harvested from the scat of civets. Black Ivory Coffee is the same concept, but with a different animal. It comes from elephant dung. During the elephant's long digestive process, enzymes break down the chemicals that cause bitterness in the beans, resulting in a smoother, less acidic cup of coffee. Time will tell if black ivory takes off or if investors need to dump their shares. But as of July 2018, you can buy black ivory coffee online. If this coffee is a bit out of your price range, but you crave a steaming cup of brew number two, you can buy Kopi Luwak for about $330 per pound. Matsudake Mushrooms The most expensive mushrooms in the world, Matsudakes grow in North America, South Korea, Canada, Finland, and Sweden, but most are exported to Japan, where there is a high demand. Matsudakes have cultural significance in Japan, where they symbolize fertility and happiness. Other notable symbolic foods include horse meat sashimi, for strength, and the sperm sacs of cod, for virility, luscious marbling, an intense beef flavor and a natural tenderness found in even the toughest cuts make cove beef the holy grail of meat for beef aficionados. Cove beef has to meet specific certification criteria. Most notably, it must score between 10 and 12 on the Japanese marbling scale. USDA Prime equates to about 4 and come from a 100% pure Tajima cow born within Hyogo Prefecture. I am Semeni Chicken I am so many chickens from Indonesia throw your perception off at first glance. The inky blackness of their flesh, beak, plumage, and skin, basically everything but their eggs, conflicts with how you think chickens should look, and you're forced to do a double take. Not many American chefs actively seek out I am so many chickens, but they're widely sought in Indonesia for the purported mystical properties and magical healing powers of their blood. They're also commonly used as sacrificial animals. When it comes to dinner, though, you're better off with regular free-range chickens from a local farm. Densu Black Watermelon Densu Black Watermelons, one of which once sold for more than $8,000, took a price hit around 2011, though one melon will still cost you a lofty $6,100. First harvest Densuks come with a hefty price tag, and you can even find the same species of Densuks but not first harvest specimens, in Canada for around $200. What's so special about this watermelon aside from its color? Densuks have crisper flesh, 
more juice and more sweetness than regular watermelons. That said, a blind taste test by the Toronto Star indicated the juiciness and seed quantity. Densuits aren't genetically modified for seedlessness, like supermarket varieties. Negatively affected tasters' experiences. Trifola d'Alba Madonna, White Truffles If you've ever eaten Trifola d'Alba Madonna, also known as White Truffles, then you likely frequent high-end restaurants or know someone with very good taste in food. White truffles belong on a list of ultra-expensive foods as rightfully as they do a list of foods with justifiably high costs. Rarity, coupled with a one-of-a-kind flavor and aroma you will never taste anywhere else, drives the prices of white truffles through the roof. Not even white truffle oils peddled at unfairly high prices approach the flavor and scent of real white truffles. Scientists can't domesticate them, either, so you won't find them in your local market. Due to the unpredictable growth habits of white truffles, harvesting methods haven't changed much since the Roman era. Ruby Roman Grapes Who would pay more than $11,000 for one bunch of grapes? Takama Rukanishi, a well-known premium fruit buyer from the Yogo Prefecture, southwestern Japan, Masu. Ruby Romans are about the size of a ping-pong ball and are much sweeter than your average grape. In Japan, certain seasonal fruits routinely attract massive sums from buyers seeking social prestige. Kanashi purchased the Ruby Romans and then held a free tasting at his supermarket. The supermarket business in Hyogo must be booming if Kanashi has the means to purchase grapes at such a high price and then give them away. Alma's Caviar you can safely assume anything commonly eaten with a pearl spoon costs a lot of money. True caviar, limited to the Sevruga, Ocetra, and Beluga species of sturgeon found in the Caspian and Black Seas, typically ranges from $20 to $50 in up per ounce, making even the cheapest variety a treat best paired with champagne and served on special occasions. But for gourmands with high net worths, there's almost caviar from Iran a pearl-like beluga variety harvested from rare white sturgeon found in the Caspian Sea. Uberry King Melon Overpriced Best describes Uberry King Melons. Sure, you can only get them on Hokkaido Island, Japan, and they have an aesthetically pleasing shape coupled with an ultra-concentrated melon flavor and sweetness. But are they worth the price of a college education? It depends on who you ask. The best first harvest Uberry Kings mainly symbolize status. In fact, it's not uncommon for a well-paid employee to present a pair of Uberry Kings to a generous employer. So guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I will see you in the next video.